There's a lot of things that need to change in Destiny 2, but today we're going to talk about exotics and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So let me give you a brief history on exotics because I feel that it's important before getting into the topic at hand. Exotics have been an issue in Destiny since the beginning of Destiny and there is no surprise that it's an issue in Destiny 2. The issue in Destiny 1, prior to the first DLC release and not Expansion 1 or 2, was that exotics were pretty much non-existent. Guardians were happy just to get an exotic even if it wasn't for the current character that they were playing on. The grind? It was crazy, but people still did it. Then changes to the game happened. Many nerfs and buffs which to include an increase in drop rate for exotics. Fast forward through time and then Bungie eventually came up with an item that they called Three of Coins that was only obtained from buying them from Xur, Agent of the Nine. Back then, it was a rare consumable that stacked when you use multiple Three of Coins at once in order to get an exotic engram. Personally, I only popped one at a time and I farmed ultra enemies which were yellow bar enemies that had a skull next to their names and I also released a video on how to farm using three of coins for the original destiny that you guys can see on an annotation shown on screen now. So this method actually helped out thousands of guardians in the community and I was given amazing feedback from them. But let's move on. Now a little bit before destiny 2 many guardians in the community complained and three of coins was buffed again giving you an even better chance to get exotics. However, let's not forget, in Destiny 1, we were able to get exotic quests that once we completed gave us specific exotics. But the community wanted more, and Bungie listened to them. And when Destiny 2 was released, it was a shit show. Real quick, as an honorable mention, back in Destiny 1, we were able to see what type of exotic engrams we got. So, for example, we could see that the exotic engram that we had was either for a weapon or a certain piece of armor. In Destiny 2, we can only see that it's an exotic engram, and the value of an exotic in Destiny 2 is pretty much next to nothing. Getting an exotic prior to the Curse of Osiris was a joke. Not only were we able to get exotic like it's cool, but it's possible to get the same exotic that you just got at least three times in a row. I must have had every exotic available at the time in Destiny 2 within the first two weeks for my Warlock class and at least 15 exotic weapons in the first week. Now I'm not trying to brag, but it was way too easy to get exotics in Destiny 2 upon release. And then it happened. The Curse of Osiris was released and Bungie made it even easier for Guardians to get an exotic. At this moment, you cannot walk into any tower instance when there are other Guardians and no one in that tower has an exotic. Go ahead and try it. I promise you, you will not find a tower that has Guardians in it that at least one of them doesn't have an exotic. It's just unheard of. Granted, yes, the issue of decrypting multiple exotic engrams and getting the same engram was semi-fixed in a patch, but then, Three of Coins returned as a legendary item, and the new Faded Engram was introduced in Destiny 2, which rewarded you with an exotic that you don't already have. Given, yes, it's at a cost. Now, there are times where I wish, I mean, I utterly wish Bungie wouldn't listen to the community. So how do we fix this issue? Well, that's very simple. A week after the release of Curse of Osiris was the release of Masterwork weapons, and according to Christopher Barrett, we also have Masterwork Armor coming soon as well. Now, Masterworks actually ties into my point, so bear with me. I don't know how many times I turned in tokens or engrams hoping that I would get a Masterworks weapon version and be disappointed that I didn't get one. But when I did get a Masterworks weapon, I was excited, even if it was on a weapon that I was never going to use because I could just dismantle it for the Masterworks core, which this is an issue all on its own because currently, there is only one way to get Masterworks cores, which is to delete Masterworks weapons. Then again, we need 10 cores in order to make our current weapons Masterwork versions, or we get one that dropped as a Masterworks weapon. It takes 3 cores and legendary shards to reroll a Masterworks weapon, and then you may have to even reroll it again if you don't get a stat that you want. My point to all of this is an easy fix. 
and I'm sure a lot of people already know where I'm going with this. Masterworks Weapons has the drop rate that many people believe Exotic should have. All Bungie needs to do is change the drop rate of Masterworks Weapons and Exotic Engrams with each other. So, this will make Exotics have a drop rate of Masterworks Weapons and vice versa. This gives back the Exotic drop rate its value as an Exotic but then allows us to have more Masterworks cores in order to customize our weapons the way we want to. It sounds simple, yes, but being from the IT field, I know it's not as easy as inputting numbers and hitting enter on a keyboard. It's all code and it's not easy to rewrite. Messing with the code actually breaks things. I'm pretty sure a lot of people remember that first week of the Prometheus lens, right? Yeah, point made. So what do you guys think? Is this a good idea that Bungie should implement? Or are there other ways that Bungie should handle this other than just giving us exotics whenever we open engrams? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like and share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.